Hey everyone, um, it's your generic emergency light. Um, I have an interesting video. I found this doorbell at Ace Hardware. And I thought it was cool. Like, it's the old-fashioned ones where it's actually a metal ha hammer hitting a metal gong and actually making a true bell sound. And it was 15 bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. So I got it. I did make a video on unboxing it and everything. But it was really bad. There was a bunch of background noise. And, no. Nah. You might see some little clips of it here and there in the video. Like, the wiring of it. Because I did have to wire it. Um... This is me editing this. I'm gonna go ahead and show the wiring part now because I couldn't really find a good place to squeeze it in. So I'm just gonna squeeze it in at the front. That way you guys don't have to worry about it later. So yeah, let's go to the wiring. Okay, so the wiring didn't record in the second take I did. Um, couldn't see the terminals. So I'm not doing it a third time. But what you do is you I take the cover off. You might have to unscrew it. This one's just, it snaps on and off. Makes it easy. Um, two terminals, one and two. It has like an electromagnet type design. So that's why this one is directly to the bell because it runs to these coils. And then that one on the red runs to the knocker. So my bell has no polarity. So you can wire the positive here and the negative here or the negative here and the positive there. Um, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter for it. So, but your bell might have polarity. So it might have a designated, um, voltage charge. So you might have to put the positive in one spot and the negative in the other. Um, there might be designated terminals for that. But mine, it's not. Mine's pretty easy. Um, so you just get your power source whether it's from a battery or transformer, make sure your voltage is correct. Read read the instructions, make sure you have the correct voltage. Wire it to your two terminals accordingly. If it's no polarity, then either wire to either terminal. If it does have polarity, positive to the positive, negative to the negative, or red to red and black to black. Um, if it's a pigtail. Pigtail is when you have to use wire nuts or the quick connectors, but wire nuts are always better. Um, so that's how you wire it. So I'll test it to make sure it works. And it works. So we're all done. It is wired correctly because it's obviously making noise and being very loud. So here's its box. It's, our, it's already out because again, I made a video. It says doorbell. There's the company. It's called Wired. Um, the back has a diagram. It's a four inch bell. It's low voltage. There's a diagram with a push button. I don't use a push button. I just have a power strip right here. I'm using a work light. This one by Coast. Highly recommend if you've, if you've seen it. So let me guys, let me show you guys the bell. Um, so here it is. You might have seen these before in older houses. Um, so there's the hammer, here's the gong, and then there's all the inside parts. It's, it's really nice looking. The top has a knockout, but it's a pretty bad knockout, so I had to just bend the side. It doesn't look that good, I had to bend the side so the wire wouldn't get pinched. And then that runs down. What was that? I have timers clicking, but I don't think that was a timer. Oh, well. If there's a fire, I'm right here. It runs down to this transformer right here. Which, I don't know if you can read that. No, you can't. Um, basically, the bell can run on 8 to 16 volts AC. And three to six volts DC on a battery. But if you're using a transformer like me, it's eight to 16 volts AC. So it can't run on a nine volt battery because nine, that's nine volt DC. I need AC. This transformer is a nine volt AC transformer. So it works. 
Um, something I noticed is, um, inside my phone case is a thing of, is a fruit gummy wrapper. You can see that in the reflection. But the hammer, I had to adjust it because it was too close to the bell. So it was make it was mainly slapping, and I couldn't really hear it ring. I just heard ding 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 ding. ding. But if it's too far, it obviously won't hit it. So I had to like bend it to the perfect sweet spot. And let me show you guys something. Take the top cover off. Um, there are these coils. I think this runs on an electromagnet type design. See, one of the screws goes straight into the metal base. But it's 9 volt AC, so it can't kill me. Because the AC that can hurt you is 120. That supplies this. So I think it charges up this, these coils. And then this one goes to this brass piece that makes a spark. And then it starts pulling it back and forth, and I think that's how it works. Because it was making a blue spark, and it scared me. I thought it was just some cheap little thing and it was about to start a fire, but I think it's supposed to run like that. So let me show you guys the spark it makes. And since it's bent, it does, it, it, the hammer kind of, um, bounces back and forth at the end, but that's fine. It's a small price to pay for it actually working well. Give me a second. Let me snap this cover back on. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, so I snapped the cover back on. You guys might have seen a couple things on my Instagram. If you're not following me, then you haven't seen it, obviously. Um, my Instagram name is the same as my YouTube name, by the way. Same logo, same everything. But here's the bell, and I'll give you guys like a full view of it going off. It's hooked up to this power strip. It's plugged into here. Um... So, here we go. You can see the spark on the inside. Now, the good thing about this power strip is I don't have to actually click it. I don't have to actually click the strip. I can just hold it so I can kind of code the bell. So look, I can do it code three. Still working on my March time, but code three I have down to a science. Um, so yeah, it again, it's a doorbell. It's not really meant to be used as a fire bell, but it works and it's really cool. So, and I have it mounted with these screws right here going into my TV cart. You can sort of see that I went too far with one of the screws or the wood split right there by the back box of my alarm. See how the wood split right there? The screw came through. So hopefully that doesn't do anything when this alarm gets energized. It doesn't short the bell or anything. But it shouldn't. Because I've had them both plugged in together. And I don't think the screw goes that far back anyway. I think it just split the wood for some random reason. So yeah. Um... Again, it's meant to be used on a doorbell with a button, but I don't have a button. And it's not on for forever. It's only on for probably like 30 seconds at maximum. Um, but it is fun to play with. If you see it, I would snag it because they're really cool looking. And maybe if you want to, you can replace your old chime with this if it's a bit more pleasing. And I think it does work upright. I've used it upright. But I didn't, I didn't want to mount it upright, even though it looks better. I feel like it would mess with something with the electromagnet in here, as well as I like seeing the hammer hit the bell. So, sorry, my brother's still up doing something, practicing for a big test. 
that I also have tomorrow, so looking forward to that. That's why there's not much editing going into this video, because I don't have time, plus... Waiting for the color to change. There we go. It's nine, so. I thought my mini fridge had a clock for a second. It's cooling back down because it was it had a lot of water droplets in it from when I first powered it up. I put water bottles in it when it wasn't fully cooled. So the bottle started sweating and it made it condense a lot of water droplets. So I just powered it off and cleaned it all out. And I don't think it's doing it anymore. So it's at 37 it's it's pretty normal it it was at 36 all day yesterday and all day today looks like it's sort of doing it but not as badly it was really bad the other day when i first got it but i'm hoping that's just like a once in a week thing where i only have to do it weekly if not monthly but um that's not the point of this video this bell is so it's a really cool little bell. I, I personally really do like it. It was $15, so not terrible. The transformer I found in my china cabinet, it went to something. Um, I'm also going to include a wiring thing, so I can't make this talking part too long. Because I have the wiring thing to put in. That was actually a decent clip that I got. Because I don't have a tripod, so I get what I can. And if it's not good, then it just doesn't get put in. But I was able to lean my phone against the against the stud in the attic, so I could use both hands to strip and connect my wires. So thank you for watching my video um, of this antique little I don't know if it's antique, but this old fashioned doorbell. Um, if you like if you like the video or found it useful, like if you want to get one now. Um, hit, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you have any questions about the bell or anything here at all, or the fridge, um, leave the, or this, leave those down in the comments below. And if you enjoy my content, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really helps. Um, my Instagram link will also be in the description. So thank you so much for watching my video. Um, and I'll talk. I'll see you in another video. Bye.